Hello everyone, Frau Home Baker here again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you one of my best recipes. This is my super moist dark chocolate cake recipe. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Mmm, let's give it a taste. Yum. Look at that. Oh, and I have a cat today. My super cute free taster. Take a look at this little girl. Yummy? Hmm? Now let's start making our dark chocolate cake, this super moist dark chocolate cake. First, I'm going to mix milk with one and a half teaspoons of vinegar. Then set it aside. Let's sift in our flour. This is two cups of flour. Then followed by our dark cocoa powder. This is two third cup. And then we have here baking soda, one and a half teaspoons, and one teaspoon baking powder. Now let's add one and a half cups of white granulated sugar, one teaspoon salt, and then let's give it a quick mix. Now let's crack in one egg. And then let's add our milk mixture. One cup of oil, vegetable oil, and then we have one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And now let's use our hand mixer, electric hand mixer, and mix this until it's combine well make sure you don't you don't over mix it now let's scrape the bottom to make sure that all of our dry ingredients are incorporated mix again after that we're going to add a boiled water this is very hot water it's really a boiling water so we're adding two thirds cup of boiling water mix again until it's well combined so I'm using just a medium speed and then let's scrape the sides and the bottom again make sure that it's all mixed properly and then set it aside now let's get our baking pans ready let's just put a parchment paper at the bottom so our cake will not stick onto the top. I'm using here two 8 inches baking pan. Let's just pour our batter into the pan. I'm using kitchen scale to make sure that our batter is evenly or it's yeah it is the same weight as the other one. 8 7 to 7 grams and then before we put it in the oven we just tap it on the counter for three to four times and then into the oven so I preheated it in 230 degrees and let's bake it for 35 minutes Depends on your oven. Mine is just good for this temperature. While our cake is still baking, let's prepare for our ganache. So here I have one cup of milk, one and then two tablespoons of flour, 
one half cup of sugar and then just mix it one third cup of cocoa powder mix it again until it is thick and smooth just keep on mixing when it reaches this stage, it's very thick and uh, smooth, then you can add the butter. And then set it aside when the butter is completely melted. Now our cake is done. As you can see, I like this, how it's baked, so I will tell you why I like it this way later. Just take it out, put it into the wire rack to pull it off, and then stick a toothpick to make sure that it's baked properly. If nothing is sticking into the toothpick, it means it's good enough. So after 15 minutes, I'm taking it out of the baking pan, and then uh, leave it in the wire rack to pull it off. Cut the tops. So I'm going to set the cake scraps aside because I'm going to use it as my filling. I'll show it to you also after this one. So that's the reason why I like it when there is a dome shape at the top because I'm using it for my filling. And then we are just going sugar, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, and just mix it, and when it's all mixed, you can then slowly put in your cake crumbs, you can see, so for about, I think around 400 grams of this cake scraps. like 
drip, drip, drip. And after this, we're going to transfer it to our plate. Now, let's cut it. Are you ready? Oops. Oh, no. The cake is cut. Let's see how it looks. beautiful it is inside that's what they told you and let's take one bite so yummy you guys should try this the list of the ingredients is on the description box if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for the future uploads Thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye!